In this video, you will meet an Amazon seller, Thomas, who started his business eight years ago, selling as a small brand in restricted categories on Amazon. He shares his journey as well as some tips for sellers like himself. Continue watching to hear his story. Hi, we're here at the Amazon Sellers Park Camp event in Lisbon, Portugal, and I'm here with Thomas, uh, who is an Amazon seller, so we will have ask a few questions from him. So, hi. Hello. So, how are you feeling so far? Uh, how have you been enjoying this event? And maybe the first question that was before the we decide to go here, so it was why we're going here, what we will like find something new for ourselves. And in this case, when you're starting doing this at home, you didn't know how, what to expect and what kind of information. So, so now it will be important thing. When you're sitting at home and you don't really know uh, if some of the conference will give you some tips, uh, you should like throw those mind uh, away and just come to the conference. And like, because only one thing can like change your whole business. Yeah, that's that's awesome. I think I would like to already like finish the interview because I think it, it was so I powerful. Know what, I know what to say. <laughs> exactly. But no, before we go to other questions, I actually actually wanted to ask a quick introduction of you. So on which marketplaces you're currently selling at and for how many years you have been already an Amazon seller? So we have experience like eight years in Amazon. We start like from really like small brands and like I don't know how to put it, like really s small things. And we grow up and mostly those uh, grow up, when we growing up, uh, as you can like see it from now the perspective we have, it's because we're constantly improving, changing some processes inside and searching for something new, uh, like for the products. So we're selling in, uh, restricted cat category uh, the products that we sell uh, the products are mm, like medical devices for home use and i don't uh, remember a second question that you asked me <laughs> no that's fine um i was just yeah actually you answered both the, the mar marketplace i think and the so yeah the marketplace uh the main marketplace uh, that where i'm working for is like usa and also we're spreading now to the europe we don't like uh, only Europe because we don't like we don't know if we need to go to the Turkey or somewhere else. So at the moment we have in plans Europe. Okay, very good. And you said you have been selling for six years, right? Like eight years. Eight, eight of experience. years. Okay, yeah. so like, even even a longer period. So I wanted to ask, uh, what have been like some of the main challenges you have faced throughout these eight years of selling? Okay, nice question, but. By the way, during this whole eight years, you are growing like as a person. Because when we start doing this, it's like e-commerce or something like that. Everybody like start doing e-commerce. And we start like uh, in Lithuania doing like e-commerce and then we find out what is the Amazon. So we bought uh, a course like or something like for 500, uh, 5,000 US dollars. And it's like beginning. And after that, you like the, the whole changer is when you're finding the product that is like mm, making kick for you. You say, whoa, nice. The, the sales can be like this. But afterwards, when you like uh, turning around and looking back what you have done, it's like it's absolutely nothing because there is no limits and you can go really high. And like this uh, type of work uh gave like for me and for my family a lot of freedom because like we moved from lithuania where we would like to live and you need to like work like eight hours a day it's enough like four hours or three hours a day it depends what you would like to do and what kind of maybe not, not the potential but what you would like it's simply what you would like to do and what is your passion but the mainly thing uh, like I, I would like to say for uh, the people who will watch this interview so if you're doing this like for the money 
like don't go here because yeah you can earn but it will cost you a lot of uh, like energy but if you have passion for some of products or you have passion like for myself in uh, like marketing to finding some um, customers pain and to give the answer to make a deep research and find out what not nobody is speaking about that and you will be the first but after like two years you will be kicked by the other uh, sellers because they find out that you are doing this. So all the market uh, is changing together with you. So you need to be always on the top. You need to be always improve yourself. You need always uh, to, like do competitions and like search for something new. Okay, so my next question is, how do you stay up to date with all of these different changes that happen on Amazon Marketplace and also those different strategies people are talking about? Uh, what are like the best resources? Okay, so I think like for uh, the last two years, we were so closed. So we are mostly concentrated in our products and making like, not the homework, but like we were cleaning our um, our workplace like what we need to do how to need like uh, uh get on on all processes and etc etc but when just i came here and i saw what guys are doing because like so many different sellers so i see that uh the big companies are coming to the amazon and they are like so big then didn't uh afraid to say like we're selling this this is our company it's normal because like from the beginning all the amazon sales was uh yes i'm selling somewhere like in yeah nobody in really this category to say, yeah, like, nobody really wanted to say yes right? but yeah. now it's like so open because uh the people are growing they're growing businesses and la now what i have like find out what is uh, the main mm, not the killer maybe but mm, the insight for uh second thoughts and second steps that we will make through our brand it's like data science because uh, you can now fa uh, find in amazon so many data things and you can can improve only like one percent of your business that can scale you like 50 percent in the profit so like in this case uh, it's really like that like data changing and like everything is changing and you see how all the market is growing so in this case i think that uh only conferences only networking can give you more information about what you can do what uh like other people can say and also like uh, just like five minutes ago we have uh we were speaking with the other sellers about like how to collect reviews etc etc and when you think that what you have already done with your like company and with your product and it's really uh, for you it's like it's a daily basis thing and you're uh, telling it for uh, for other person and this person okay it's really i need to do that because like it's a really simple thing and you are doing that uh, all the time and it's it's it working but the main thing that other other sellers didn't know about that so i'm also thinking that uh, all the people who are coming here uh, they can say um, from their own perspective a lot of things so in this case uh, you not to be shy to be like maybe i'm so, so, um, to say something wrong because uh, if you say one tip that will help you during like only this event so you can make uh, huge huge steps uh, to expand your brand and expand your like profits and, and worth life okay what a great detailed uh, answer to that question thank you very much for that um so i wanted to ask if you could have one superpower uh that's related to being an amazon seller then what kind of superpower you would like to have okay superpower Ah, okay. Uh, I would like to have superpower to uh, close uh, competi competitors' listings. <laughs> like so that. You would always be the yeah, one yeah, and the only one. selling that product, right? Well, Why not? Uh, I think it's the, yeah, it's this good. is a superpower. Yeah, this is. <laughs> yeah, very good. So, um, and also one question, because I know that sometimes um, 
you know, it's not so um, easy always to manage with the Amazon business and the Amazon account. So if you could change anything regarding like Seller Central or Amazon platform itself, what would you like to change? So it's a so philosophical question. I think there is no bad or good things. You need to find the partner or uh, the person who will work for you. And this special issue that is so heavy for you, for you, it will be so easy for absolutely different person. Because from my end, my end, I am not the person who like in the data and like searching with the Excel numbers and like maybe contracts, it's really hard for me. But I can go through like, I can go through Amazon hours and hours for searching new products, checking new pictures, watching like BSR and like uh, competing different products. And it's so easy for me to like find like different, different things, but it's really will be mm, very difficult for another person. So in this case, we have a uh, really good, good uh, like partnership with like with my partner. Uh, and like he's managing all like processes because like payments, banks, uh, VATs, uh, like speaking with the accountant, like, and always calling me like, uh, where is this invoice? Like, uh, okay, so, and from my end, I'm searching like for new products. I am finding like this mainly stuff, uh, the, like to, I don't know how to put it, it's like about what is really painful for the customer. And if you find that, what is really painful, and you can change that, so you are like changer, and your product can like grow. Okay, very good. So thank you so much for taking the time to sit down here with me and answer some of my questions. Uh, I do hope you enjoyed the rest of the events. And I think you already learned something new, but I'm sure you are able to learn uh, something even more. So thanks again and hope to see you soon again. Thank you. Bye, folks. If you enjoyed the content in this video, don't forget to hit the like button below and subscribe to our channel. This interview was recorded during an in-person event called Orange Click Bar Camp with Dragonflip, which took place in Lisbon, Portugal in June 2, 2022. If you want to learn more about upcoming events we organize, check the link below where you will find the more information about it. And now I recommend you to watch another interview we recorded at the bar camp.